WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, wet Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have most of the U.S. indices trading the upside. The only one that is not are the transports. They're down 35 points, but uh, price there, as you'll see in a moment, is pulled back and tested a uh, level of support, potential level of support. You've got the Dow up 42, S&P's up 26, NASDAQ 100, 248, 1 and 7 tenths percent to the upside. Semis are up a little over 1% to 38 points. Russell just slightly green up 1 point. Gold is up nine bucks silver down seven pennies lights we crude up nearly three bucks natural gas up three pennies and the 30-year treasury trading out at 149.01 that's pulling back uh, 25 ticks as we speak right now let's go spend a little moment uh, a little moment let's go spend our time taking a look at the cash indice charts out here and up in the upper left hand corner you're going to see the dow what did the dow do on friday even though there's no topping pattern out here what the dow did it's also our change line change colors price pulled back and tested and rejected that level it has done that again today that suggests that the dow wants to make a move up to the 35 431 level the s p 500 has not tested its green oscillator and change line got close but no cigar out there nonetheless this may be targeted as td9 count top and that uh, td9 count top is for the s p 500 the trading day from march the 29th the price were to close above that you'd be looking to move to 47.44 nasdaq 100 has a td9 count top as did the S&P 500. Price should test that green oscillator and change line, but it has no mood to do that right now. And it's trading into the swing point that created that TD9 count top. It's doing so with lighter volume, but nonetheless, it's trading inside there. As long as you close inside that swing point, which for the NDX 100 would be a close about 1503961 Price is likely to go target the top. Russell 2000, it tested its green oscillator and change line on Friday. That puts it back into the bullish camp and suggests it wants to try to target 2210. The semis are having a nice bounce, but they need to close above its red oscillator and change line. Otherwise, the semis are suggesting lower price. The transport's pulling back to old resistance, 15420. That may be new support. You've got a hammer candle going today out there, but big wide range of bar to the downside. you got to wait for a couple days to see what the transport signal to us. New York Stock Exchange has a TD9 count top. It has a date with that oscillator and change line. It just hasn't found the time to make that happen. The same is true with the NASDAQ composite. So, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Thanks so much for joining me on Magnificent Monday. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday.